welcome uh, to the course power electronics applications in power systems. Electrical power system is one of the most complex uh, systems which is created and developed uh, by human being. So, this electrical uh, power grid uh, uh, in, in, in India and other populous country like China and USA is a very widely uh, uh, long geographically located and complex. So, where hundreds of generators operate in synchronism uh, and these generators are connected with uh, several thousands kilometers long transmission lines. All right. So, it means it is a very weak and complex power network. Okay. And the goal of this electrical development of electrical power grid is to generate power, transmit power and distribute power to the customers. So, in order to have the efficient process, there needs to have uh, many, many uh, devices involved in it. And the goal of a power grid is of course, uh, to, to supply a reliable, stable, uninterrupted power to the customers. So, therefore, electrical power system needs a thorough analysis uh, to, to make it uh, more reliable, stable and also resilient uh, from various events. So, in, in general as I said an electrical power grid consists of several uh, hundreds of power generators operate in synchronism. Uh, they are needs to have certain devices which could assist these generators to have the efficient operation of the network. And these devices are usually called compensators. A compensator is usually a reactive power compensator which can absorb or generate or supply the reactive power to the network, wherever this is these are required and whenever these are required. Okay. Now, to understand this one needs to have a fair idea about what is reactive power. Okay. So, this course will start with the very basic idea of electrical power. Most importantly, uh, the concepts of electrical active and reactive power. Then uh, I will discuss the need of this reactive power compensation. Okay. Now, uh, there are various types of reactive power compensators exist in different uh, parts of a power network, either in the high voltage network or even uh, medium voltage and low voltage networks. Okay. So, efficient reactive power compensators usually need fast operation and that is only possible when we have fast uh, switching devices and here is we have uh, the requirement of power electronics devices. So, this course acts as a liaison of the two previously taught uh, electrical engineering courses. One is the basic electrical power system, another is the basic electrical power electronics devices okay, and converters. So, the prerequisite for this course is uh, the uh, basic idea of electrical power system as well as the basic idea of electrical power electronics systems. All right. Now, this, this course I will start with very basic idea of uh, electrical power, most importantly this differentiation of uh, active power to reactive power and uh, the requirement of reactive power compensation in the first module. Then we will slowly move ahead to the idea of the modeling of electrical transmission systems. As I said, why we require electrical transmission systems? We require electrical transmission system in order to connect the electrical generators which are located 
in a wide geographical area ok. Uh, and to establish the link of uh, this, this, these generators and most importantly to bring power towards the customers where the customers live, we need these electrical power transmission systems or power transmission networks. So, in order to understand this operation of power transmission networks, one needs to have a thorough mathematical modeling. Okay. So, I will discuss the very basic idea of the mathematical modeling of electrical power transmission networks in the second module of this course. Okay. I will start from the very basic idea, I will slowly derive the all the relevant equations uh, from the scratch from the very basic idea and discuss uh, and, and also I will discuss the important uh, concept associated with it. Then uh, we will also discuss some of the numerical problems. Then I will slowly go ahead towards the our main topics which is uh, the effect of reactive power compensator to the power system. Okay. So, we will discuss some idea of midpoint compensation. Midpoint means in a typical transmission line, we will consider the voltage condition at the midpoint and we will try to uh, mitigate all the voltage rela uh, related uh, issues for example, over voltage, under voltage etcetera at the midpoint. This is possible by using these power electronics devices. Okay. And there are two types of power electronics based compensator, one is called series compensator, another is called shunt compensator. And also it, there might be a combination of series and shunt compensators. So, to discuss these compensators, I will start with the shunt uh, power types of power electronic compensators, which is popularly named as SVC that is static VAR compensator. Okay. So, in this module, I will briefly discuss uh, different types of SVCs that is static VAR compensators. Uh, I will also discuss the mathematical modeling of this SVCs and I will also discuss the differences among the different types of SVCs with relative merits and demerits. Once I completed this, I will start discussion on the application of this SVC in practical power networks in order to achieve several goals. Now, what are the our goals? We will achieve uh, this power uh, loss or energy loss minimization with the suitable control of these power electronics devices. Those things we will discuss. Then we can also achieve uh, or we can also enhance the power transmission capacity of a power transmission line with the appropriate placement of SVC. So, how it is possible we will discuss. Then we will also see how an SVC can improve the power system stability. Okay. So, there are different types of stability uh, problems. We will discuss how a power system can enhance the stability margin and thereby it also improves the steady state stability as well as it improves the small signal stability. Then also we will discuss how an SVC can improve the damping of the power system. Now, why we need damping, what is damping, those things I will also discuss in uh, detail. Okay. So, once I completed this discussion on SVC and its application in power system, I will also discuss the different types of modeling and control approaches of SVC primarily to control the uh, voltages or to regulate the voltages uh, at the point in which a SVC is placed. Okay. So, we will typically consider that SVC is placed at a midpoint of a transmission line and then we will discuss that how it impacts uh, in mitigating over voltage, under voltage or voltage related issues and thereby it uh, keeps the voltage regulation uh, of a power transmission line according to the norms of a particular power grid. Okay. So, this will finish the sun type of uh, power electronics compensator. Uh, this is one class. Then we will move forward to the series type of power electronic compensators. So, we will start with uh, TCSC, thyristor control series capacitor. Okay. 
after completion of this, uh, in this particular module, basically I will discuss the modeling approach of TCSC as well as its application to power system, how it impacts on a power system operation and how can it enhance the performance of a power system. Those things I will discuss in very detail. And then uh, we will move forward to a different kind of power electronics device uh, that is called uh, STATCOM, static synchronous compensators. Its operation uh, is uh, different than the its, its counterpart of SVC that is static power compensator. So, uh, how a STATCOM is different to SVC those things I will discuss and most importantly how can a, a STATCOM uh, be used in order to enhance of a power transmission network uh, performance. For example, uh, to enhance the stability of a power transmission system, to enhance to, to improve the reliability of a transmission system to uh, regulate the voltages all these things I will discuss in very detail. Then finally, the, in the last module I will discuss uh, a different kind of series compensation devices uh, that is called SSSC okay, that is static, static synchronous series compensator. Okay. So, uh, this again I will discuss the modeling of SSSC. I will discuss the application of SSSC in uh, improving various performance uh, indicator or various aspects of power system, those things I will discuss in very detail. Okay. So, this is all about these different modules of the course okay. and as I uh, said the prerequisite of this course is the, a very good idea on basics of electrical power system and some basic idea of electrical power electronic system. Okay. So, this course is usually taught in a uh, un, uh, postgraduate level, but this course can be uh, an elective course of undergraduate uh, students as well. Okay. So, even I will discuss all these different types of relevant topics. Uh, from the very basic idea, but one should have a fair idea about how electrical power system works. Okay. Now, regarding this uh, my uh, teaching style, I will I will I will derive uh, on board uh, all these relevant equations, all these uh, uh, conceptual details and all these modeling details in very detailed manner. Okay. So, if one follow me from the very beginning, I will I am sure that you can he or she can understand at the end uh, this this concept very well. Okay. So, this course is you is, is a very is a conceptual course and one needs to develop the concept uh, and and in order to develop the concept that uh, one needs to have uh, the idea what I taught in a previous day. Uh, because all these uh, concepts are interconnected, all these concepts need some uh, initial idea, those things I will start from a lecture by lecture and I hope this course would be enjoyable to all the learners. Thank you.